here are just a few and they're all zinnias I have some chocolate or cinnamon basil and I'll leave these setting out in the front yard and change the water so these have probably been seven or eight days and then I have some lemon basil which smells incredible but I found and you probably know this too if you'll put your lemon basil right after you cut it in the fridge and give it some good fresh water and then day two it's ready to rock and roll so here's the other one I think those are really pretty but I know people don't really want a zinnia um, flower they don't want to really buy cut flowers that are just zinnias and I understand orange is kind of cool yellow is very small I don't think it got enough water and I think why am I shaking hmm. I first thought it was the wind but no it's me oh here's one of the dahlias so I've got several dahlias on the way I figured this was gonna die I cut it yesterday and it's been outside it's in the shade okay we'll see you soon flower farmers <laughs> bye bye hey let's look at a few of the flowers today this will be quick um just to let you know we had in northeast texas a awful drought after we had some beautiful spring rains so with my first year flower farming um, I wasn't able to get everything watered and then uh, yeah it was just became too much so we don't have very much left right now we've got quite a few zinnias they're right here in the front I'll pick okay I like that one Ooh, that definitely not good enough to sell but it's still a little cool looking. It's sort of faded out. And I will put it in water for myself. So I'm trying to cut very deep. Let's see if you can see that one. That one's a little fresher. Okay, I've got some over here I want to show you. quite a lot but I've noticed that you need to change the water on your zinnias if you have time I would say daily because they muck up the water quite a lot there's another pretty one mostly all the same colors today there's a few pinks but they're not quite ready all right let's pull in this very long you're a pretty baby so I have some more deadheading to do, but I thought I'd take a moment to show you. <laughs> this long one is really <laughs> one that I let grow. Let's see. Looks like there's a shadow. Oh, and I can't keep it straight enough for you to see. Anyway, the colors are incredible. Okay, thanks for coming out with me. One more tip. If you put, like get a can of 7-Up or a few cans, and I spread it out, I didn't with these, but you put third or fourth with your water, 7-Up with all kinds of flowers, they last for your customers so much longer. You're like, oh, I don't want to buy more things, but it does work. So, have a good one. So much to learn during the first year of flower farming. <clears throat> but I love learning, and it's a good experiment to see which flowers will grow and which ones need lots of attention, which ones are pretty hardy. 
So, I'm going to take you out today, since we had a massive heat wave of triple digits for a good long time. And I've learned I need to put down drip tape. I thought about it the early season and decided I'd wait and see how it went. Yeah, drip tape is exactly what I need. So, come on outside with me.